Hello. Am I live now? Yes. Hi. Uh, I'm just going to tweet this. It always connects faster than I think. I liked it before and it was like, you have 30 seconds until you go live. But now it's just like, boom, you're live now. No time to prepare for this. Um, okay, one second, I'm just going to tweet. Oh, here we go. Come stare at me on webcam for half an hour. And there we go. I have tweeted. And now I've lost the box with you guys in it. Where are you? Oh, hi! Hello, Titiana and Emily and Annabelle and Latia. Is that a Pokemon? Latia? Latios? Latios is a Pokemon. Mika and Jocelyn and Just Call and Fantastic Abby and Evie and Momo and Fatima and Cameron, Jimmy, Atlas, Lele, Nia, Courtney, Frida, Georgia, Zara, Lynn. We also have got Grace, Meg. Eve, Jessina, Alex, Agatha, Carly, Alexandra, Novelli, Alex again, another Alex. Oh, you're all going fast now, everyone's arriving. Hello, hello everyone that's just arrived from Twitter and Facebook and stuff. Hi Naomi, hi Lauren, and Scarlett. Welcome, happy Friday. I saw, oh, it's Saturday. <laughs> I'm doing this a lot lately, is it a worry? Maybe I banged my head and didn't realize. Happy Saturday! Uh, I know what day it is today. Definitely Saturday. Um, it was meant to be the biggest downpour of all time today. I saw on the weather, like, start building an ark, guys, as it's going to be the rainiest rain you've ever rained. But it wasn't actually that bad. It, like, rained for about an hour. Maybe it's coming later. I don't know. Hello, Chloe. I don't know why you deserve that voice. I've just been drinking some dandelion and burdock. I don't know what a burdock is. But it's really delicious. Mmm. I think this might be the same taste as root beer if you're from America. It's kind of a similar thing. It's like root beer, but it's not fizzy. This one wasn't that fizzy. It can be fizzy, though. Uh, what's it say it is? Dandelion and burdock flavor soft drink. Dandelion and burdock flavoring. So it's just the flavor of burdock, whatever that is. It's really good. It's a very British thing, dandelion and burdock. Um, Kylie just became a fan. I also had a chicken tikka salad. Health! Am I glowing health? Glowing some health? Um, Dan and Louise got back from One Direction about 12 or 1 last night. And they were like, we're ordering pizza! And I was like, okay, I'll have some pizza. Um, so today I was like, okay, now I've had pizza, I need to have a salad or something. As 1am pizza isn't the best time to eat pizza. If you're going to have pizza, you should have it at like... 10 p.m. apparently, according to health professionals. <laughs> but it, it always ends up being late night pizza, doesn't it? Glucose. How are you, fellow psychology? Good. Feeling energy energized from my sugary drink. Made by the Breckland Orchard. It's like two pounds. It's really nice. Uh, why didn't I go to One Direction? Because as much as I like them, I'm not like a massive One Direction fan. So... I didn't really want to go watch them. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming with Anne, Natalie. I don't hate One Direction, I just didn't want to go watch them perform. Thanks! Felice said, I love you a lot. I became a fan, I became a fan, I became a fan. Um, I did the best to make Louise the comfort, because she slept over last night. So I was like, okay, welcome to Hotel Dan and Phil. And I tried to like fold over her duvet corner, like right at the right point, you know, like a hotel and like a perfectly folded towel. Didn't have any chocolates. I could have put like a chocolate on her pillow, but that might have been like one step too far, you know? Maybe next time someone stays over, they can have a chocolate on their pillow. So in the life of Phil, I have just uploaded an amazing Phil video, which was a favorites video, which if you watch my last few now, I was like, should I do this? And everyone was like, yeah, do it. Uh, so the reaction seems to be pretty positive, which is a good news. Uh, I just basically rambled for about seven minutes about everything I liked in May, but people seem to like it. Did you like it? Anyone that watched it? Did anyone watch it? It didn't go into the subscription box, which is, was annoying, uh, because YouTube broke. So now when it did go into the subscriptions, it's like right at the bottom. So my video didn't get as much love as it could have, but that's okay.
Kai liked it. Oh, thank you. It was fabulous, said Cassie. It was good, said Mina. Oh, thanks, guys. Woo! I haven't seen it, said Julia. Go watch it, Julia. You've got two to catch up on, because I just put one on Less Amazing Phil as well. If you didn't know, I have a side channel. Uh, I uploaded a vlog of me, Dan, Bryony, and Adam at a cat cafe, which was pretty good. I'm not going to go as far as saying amazing. Amazing is a word I use a lot. It was pretty good. I mean, most of the cats were asleep and they all hated me, but for the experience itself, it was quite fun. Uh, I'd give it three stars, maybe three and a half if I'm feeling generous. I'm allergic to cats. Maybe they knew. Maybe the cats knew that I'm allergic to cats and they didn't want to poison me with their fur. But yeah, if you want to watch that video, it's on Less Amazing Phil, which is my side channel, where I'm going to post, like, side channel videos. I love the video, said Merritt. Thank you. Yay. What was the food like there, said Sally? It was good. It was just like, it's not a restaurant. It's just a cafe, so it's just like tea and cakes. You can get afternoon tea, which looked delicious, but we just all got a little cake, or in my case, a giant cake, which was a red velvet cake, which was pretty dope. I just said dope ironically, I promise. Uh, Edgar became a fan. Thanks, Edgar. If you feel like becoming a fan, don't really know what that means on this website anymore. You can press fan. Something might happen. Your eyes might glitter. Your face might fall off. No one knows what will happen. Um, thanks guys for becoming fans. Amelia and a name I can't say. Elizabeth, Lauma, Krita, Bailey, Brianna. Yeah, I had a red velvet cake. I'm still not sure what a red velvet cake is. Back to the cat cafe. Um, it's meant to be, I think it's like slightly chocolatey vanilla. It was mainly frosting. If you watch the video, it is like a lot of frosting. But the saddest point about the video is that the cats hated me. They hated me. I think I got to, like, if you're in a room with 20 cats, and the most cats you touch is one and a half, you know something's gone wrong. They just, they just weren't, they weren't loving me. It was a shame. I would like a cat though, it gave me a hunger for cats. Not that I want to eat them, in a, I want one as a pet kind of way. <laughs> a hunger for cats. I shouldn't say things without thinking about them. Like my... Um, favorites video was mainly just one take if you notice I hardly even edited it and at one point I was like yeah I can't wait to burn these babies without the context that sounds pretty bad <laughs> go burn the babies yeah I shouldn't speak I shouldn't say words I should just be subtitled speaking of the candle though I'm burning it right now my whole house smells like marshmallows so I'm just like <sighs> if you haven't got up with my videos you'll just be like what is this guy talking about what are you wearing? I'm wearing my oversized 22 Jump Street shirt, which I got for free. Thank you to the people that invited me to that. I went to like a screening, um, which I think is a bit fancier than one where they're just like showing all people from the press the movie, because that's usually just like, oh, everyone just sit in a room with loads of people from newspapers. I've been invited to one of those before. But this one was like, here, have some delicious canapes and have a free t-shirt. And sit in this swanky cinema in a hotel and watch the movie with free popcorn and a nice drink. So I was like, yes, because I really like 21 Jump Street. It was, 21 Jump Street I think is one of my favourite comedies of all time. It's just so funny. Um, and no spoilers, but the second one is really good. It's really good. It's not better than the first one, but it's not that much worse than the first one. Some people said it was even better though. Like Adam that I went with said it was better than the first one. I think it's because a lot of it's improvised and you can tell that the actors are having fun. So that, that was really good. Lydia went to the Fox screening of Rio. Yeah, screening is great. There were some other YouTubers there. Uh, Joe Sugg was filming some kind of vlog and I was in the background having just shoved a burger in my mouth. So I'm in the background of his vlog like mm, 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 which is just a nice screenshot of what I look like in most situations, I guess. True to life. When I don't know I'm being filmed. Hum, hum. I was like, oh, great. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> I haven't seen Bad Neighbors yet, Natalie. It's called Bad Neighbors here. It's just called Neighbors in um, America. I've been saving some films in case they're on the flight to VidCon because that is such a long flight. And I'm like, 
if I've seen all the movies, I'm just going to get so bored, I'll eat my own eyes, just so I can see what an ambulance looks like on the inside. Emily saw 22 Jump Street today. Yay! Really good. Quite family friendly as well, I thought. Nothing too risque in it. If I had a 13 year old child, I might take them. I think it's 15 though. People were like, what are the age ratings? Because in my favourites, I was like, the Conjuring's are 15. We, our um, ratings are different to American ratings. So there's a PG, which is parental guidance. And there's a 12A, which is, I think you can just take anyone so long as you go with someone over 12, which is like your PG-13. And there's a 15, which you've got to be over 15, which they sometimes, if they're feeling really snarky, they'll ID you for when you're younger. Like, I got ID'd for a 15 when I was younger. And then at 18, which means you've got to be over 18 to watch it. So it's a bit stricter, actually, because in America you can go see an R-rated film with a baby if you want to take it with you. Not that you would take a baby. Some people do, though. Someone took a baby into The Lord of the Rings and they just cried the whole time. I was like, what are you doing? Get a babysitter, you strange person. Don't take your baby to Lord of the Rings. Ow, ow. I've hurt my eye. Somehow. Can you see this? That... That scratch there, it doesn't look that bad on the camera. I was, I don't even know how I did this. I, I was putting shampoo in my hair in the shower, and then I went and cut myself with my fingernail, which isn't that long. I guess it is a bit long, I need to cut it. But yeah, it was like a talon. So I went and cut my eye. It wasn't bleeding, but it was a big scratch. I'm glad I wasn't slightly lower down. I'd be like, I'm blind. What an idiot. I'm scared of eyes, said Megan. They are a bit concerning that they're so soft and squishy and just like exposed to anything. Why are you just walking past a tree and the branch just goes. There you go, blind now. Fictional Anon is fashionably late. We just missed my conversation about eyes. Norm the Eccentric said there's NC 17 movies here. That scene is like a bad thing though, right? It's a bit like, oh, it's an NC 17. Must be like porn or something. What's your Instagram, said Lani. Amazing Phil. Everything on my account, I think, is just Amazing Phil. Thought I'd make it easy. Got Amazing Phil Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Then less Amazing Phil, side channel. Sadie started watching Buffy. Yeah! Woo! I hope you like it. Takes a little bit of time to get into, but once you are, you're just, like, obsessed for life. I'm still watching Buffy at the moment. I'm on season six. Where's Dan, said Gabby? He's gone out to a barbecue, I think. VidCon? Yeah, I, VidCon is a big video YouTube convention thing, if you're asking what it is, Sarah. Uh, don't itch your eye when it's got a big scratch on it. Ow. Uh, <laughs> yes, VidCon, I am going. I'm excited. I'm doing loads at VidCon, actually. I don't know if they've released the schedules yet, but... Uh, secret information, maybe. Uh, I'm going to do something on stage with Dan. Um, I'm doing a panel, I think, and doing a meet and greet thing. So there's loads of stuff going down. I'm excited to go to Los Angeles, hang out with my buds from across the pond. Los Angeles. Uh, it's just so far away. I wish they did a flight that wasn't at night on the way back, just so you could just stay awake, but it's impossible apparently because there's such a big time difference. So you've got to go to sleep on the plane, which I can't do. I can never sleep on planes at all. New York, said Sully T. Will. I'm not going to New York. Some YouTubers are, I think. I'm not. Hi, Phil. Hi, Haley. Same. I'm so sad, said Georgia. Don't be sad. I'm here for you, Georgia. I just poured your face until you smiled. Just burp, sorry. Shouldn't burp in front of 2,649 people. Phil, I love you very much, said Melanie. Thanks, Melanie. Uh, it's crashed. What's going on? Dan's tweeted a picture of his new dog. I have not seen this dog. Oh! That is such a cute dog and an amazing photo. Uh, if you want to see Dan's new dog, you should go on his Twitter or his Instagram. It looks like it's a slightly crazy hound. Uh, where have I gone? Happy birthday, Chloe! I hope you have the best day of your life. I'll see you at VidCon, said Jenny. Whoop! Vicky Doll said, You kicked my ass at Mario Kart last night. 
Oh yeah, we've got this um, Mario Kart tournament, uh, the Fan Pre, which you can join if you have the new Mario Kart. Get a pen and paper, I'll tell you what the thing is now. I'll play some Mario Kart after this you now, so I can play some of you. Um, it's on, Dan tweeted it, I retweeted it, I'll just find it now. If you go to tournaments on the new Mario Kart, and, okay, listen to this, if you don't write it down, just go to Dan's Twitter. 9180-3710-7783. If you go to that tournament, then you can race me and Dan on the new Mario Kart. And it's really, really fun. It works so well, it's such a good idea. Someone, someone sent me an email saying like, you're playing Mario Kart because Nintendo are paying you. No, I just, I really like Mario Kart. <laughs> Not everything's just because someone's being paid for something. Ah! Just got attacked by a moth. They said that in the, in the email as well. They're like, your iPhone videos are because iPhone, no, it's just because I used my phone to make videos. <laughs> also, the favorites one as well, that seemed like a massive product placement fest, but that was just literally everything that I liked. I wasn't paid by poopery or anything. Um, Beck said, Harvest Moon. I used to play that on the Game Boy. It's weird that a game about farming can be so fun. I think I just like designing my own little worlds. Could be a farm. I used to love Beam Hospital as well. That was so fun. Talia said, KFC or McDonald's? I, I have not been to either this year at all. Um, so neither. Animal Crossing. I've kind of stopped playing Animal Crossing, though I do like it. It's one of those things when a new one comes out, I play it for ages and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. There's no end to this. Sorry about all the hair faffing. I'm just a massive hair faffer. Hair faffer. Have you seen any of the merch designs yet? Yes, you guys are incredible. It's like, whoever sent a merch design in, give yourself a gigantic pat on the back. They're all so good. I wish I had the time. I, we, I think we got like 3,000 or something. I wish I had the time to respond to everyone and just say how good they were. But they were really, really good. And I'm not going to say anything, but you should be excited about the merch situation. That's all I'm going to say. Hope has to leave. No! We'll miss you, Hope. Caitlin said, radio show change. Yeah, the radio show is now going to be on Mondays, which was a big deal. We didn't know about it until the day before it happened, and we got dragged into this really important meeting. We weren't dragged, we were invited. That sounded a bit negative. Um, and yeah, the radio show will now be compacted into one giga show, which will have all the best bits, hopefully. We haven't even spoken to about it to anyone, like what it's going to be like, so I'll let you know when I know what's going on, as I have no idea yet. <laughs> I probably know as much as you, to be honest. Uh, but on Sunday, you can enjoy our show as normal. What do you think about Shane Dawson's new haircut? Said so, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think it looks good. He was brave, killing the emo fringe. We're a rare breed now. He was one of my brothers in arms, and he just went and destroyed his heritage. Um, would I ever quiff myself? I don't know, maybe. Not not today. Not not today. I think it must be nice in summer, though, just have really short hair and have your ears free. I mean, I know it's not covering my ears or anything, but it's just, it is a bit like a little dog sat on my head. I have an emo fringe, said Nikita. Yeah! It's not even that emo -y. Like, the extreme MySpace emo fringes were like totally over the eye, you know. That's like the definitive, if you're going to draw an emo on paint, it'd be like, wait, wait, there we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's advanced. It's slightly more trendy. It's also sh shaved a bit at the sides. I need to get a good haircut though. It's been ages. Fabrice is missing me. I've ruined my hair now. God, sorry. Why do you keep messing with your hair? I don't know. You try being in front of 2,000 people and then you'll mess with your hair. Ugh. Sat on my leg. I've got pins and needles. I love your hair, said Mimi. Thanks. You're too happy to be emo, said Julia. I know. It's a way of life. It's not just about the hair. I just like the style of the hair. 
Uh, Erica said, my cat keeps meowing at you, Phil. Erica, put your cat against the screen. I just gave it a secret message. We're gonna take over the world together. Oh my god. Zoe said, my little brother wants hair like yours. Tell him to go for it. Um, Sophie just said, I started watching Sword Art Online. Yay! That divided so many opinions in my favorites video, Sword Art Online. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I really like the first half. I thought the second half was slightly lame and worse, and a little bit weirdly incesty. No spoilers. Um, but I still enjoyed it, so I thought I'd recommend it. And they're coming back with a new season, uh, I think, in July, so it'd be good to catch up before July. I like opinions. It doesn't matter if we don't like all of the same things. That's a good thing, right? Otherwise, it'd be like a scary robotic universe. Megan said, what's your opinion on Attack on Titan? Amazing! It's close to perfection. If I watch that again this month, which I might, I'll recommend it next time I make one of those videos. Don't think I'm going to do one of those every month. Just because I don't buy that much stuff. So I think it'd take me a while to amass enough to warrant a video, you know? Unless it inspires me to, like, buy loads of new stuff. All the time, I don't know. Ellie's got a media exam on Tuesday. You'll be fine. I'll teach you some things. Um, what do I know about media? I. Uh, you film things with a lens. Aperture is the lens doing the. What's it called? Doing this and letting in less or more light. There we go. I'd be a great teacher, obviously. It's Sunday already, Vanessa said. Radio show day for you. It's 10.30 a.m. in California. Is it? That's early. The time difference between us and California is just insane. Happy breakfast time. Are you going to keep answering questions? Yes. Fire them at me. As long as it's not asking me to come to your town. Because then that's all the chat will turn into. Cashby said, I just cut my toe. Do you feel sorry for me? Yes, I feel your pain in my eyelid. Alex said, make another day in the life video. I kind of like the idea of doing little snippets. You know, like the cat cafe. So rather than the, I just woke up, I'm in bed, I'm making breakfast. More just like if you're doing something interesting to film it at the time. That idea makes me happier. Oh no, I've got another 2036 error next to my face. Can anyone else see that? The little error message here. Might just be on my screen. Um, so yeah, if you want to see a day in the life, kind of, just watch the Cat Cafe video, which I just posted. The Cat Cafe? I can't see you. Oh no, is it broken? I hope it's not broken. Yes, I like the side channel videos, said Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. I got sunburned, said Elida. I never know how to say that name. Eli or something? I forgot. Oh no. Wear a sunscreen. Ligers or sharks? Sharks. I feel like ligers are infertile, but I might have made that up. I heard if you like crossbreed two animals, I think the result is usually infertile. Like a liger and a. What's the zebra thing? A zorse. A hebra. A zorse is better. Sounds like a zorse pet. Mighty Zors. Shout out to Helen Ann Durf. Thanks for becoming a fan. Bring out the electric pen, please. I don't know where it is. It's in my room. I don't want to. It's terrifying. I got a pen that electric shocks you. Definitely wouldn't recommend it, but kind of would because it's hilarious. Use it on your friends, but not on yourself. Do an American accent. Hello, Andy. Welcome to America. Are you keeping the flats at Imogen? Looks like it. I got an email that was like, hey, do you want to extend your contract? And I said yes, but they just never applied again. I should probably look into that. 
What's this 90%? Is that how many people are thumbing me up? I don't know what that means. I was the only one wearing cat whiskers on my face during prom, said Anna. Oh, I'm proud. You do whatever you want to do, as long as it's not kill people. Did you get the footage back from your video? No, it's so annoying. Apparently it's possible. I'm just waiting for the hard drive guy to do it. Um, but I will edit that video as soon as I get the footage back. What fame first, the chicken or the egg? The egg, because dinosaurs laid egg. Zzz, eggs. Katie's watching Friends. Whoop! Friends is the best. I've watched it every morning since I got the Blu ray set. Something dramatic just happened, which I won't say. I don't want to spoil it if you've just started watching it. Do you like American Horror Story? said OTM Nicki Minaj. Yes, I love American Horror Story. My favourite season was Asylum, which is season two. And they're coming back with Freak Show. So apparently Sarah Paulson, who's one of the actresses, is going to be doing a very physically demanding role, which I'm interested to see what her and Evan Peters will be this time. I thought Evan Peters was great in X-Men. He was great. Oh, said, you have such pretty eyes. Thanks. I almost stabbed them out while shampooing my hair this morning. Shampoo. Why is your skin clear? Um, I don't know, really. I get breakouts sometimes. One of my videos, I think two videos ago, was called Stop Looking at My Spot. I had a massive spot there. It's kind of just like a, a mark, a little red mark now. I used to get spots quite a lot, like here, when I was like 14. They go away. They get, as you get older, they'll get less bad. I think the person with spots always feels like they look much worse than they do as well. Like if I'm talking to someone who's got bad skin, I don't really even notice. So I'm just speaking to them as a human rather than paying any attention to anything else. Thanks for becoming a fan, Katie and Lucy. And Karen. And Lizzie. And Fama and Jesse. You can do that by just clicking that button. Which makes dreams come true, I hear a rumor of. Lizard. Tried using French Girls, the app where people um, draw you earlier. And I took this picture. Come on, load. It's not working. I think I broke it. Yeah, I took this picture. You see that? It's all rainbowy, that's weird. And this is what I got back. Are you amazing, Phil, of YouTube? <laughs> yes, I'd have liked it if you'd have drawn me, though. So now I'm going to take another one. I'll do one on you now. There, I just took one. Hopefully someone will draw that. Last time I did that, I broke the app because too many people were using it. So hopefully someone will draw me. Oh, you should just become a fan. Okay, everyone get a pen and paper. As we're going to play the drawing game in a minute. I want you to be ready. I don't own pens, said Olivia. Well, open Microsoft Paint or the Apple equivalent, which I don't think comes with the Apple software, which I think it should. Like, why don't they have a paint thing? I have to go, said Autumn. No! Is it Britain's Got Talent or something? I know that's happening at some point. I'm better than Britain's Got Talent. Look, I can do this. Can Simon Cowell flare his nostrils? I don't think so. Amber just became a fan. Thanks, Amber. I can't draw to save my life. Well, we're going to test you, Alan. Law said, help, I need to get an A star in French. Esquilly out in style de jeu. Right. Oh, it's at 7 p.m. I'll be long gone by then. I'm going. This is a, a shorter live show than usual. 
But I feel like we've chatted a lot. My hair's annoying. I can't wait to get it cut. Right, pen and paper. We are going to be playing the drawing game, which means we are going to create a monster together. And we'll reveal them at the same time. So let me just find a, a page that's free. Okay, here we go. Right. Firstly, for our monster that you're drawing, what kind of face shape should we have? It can be any shape you want. It can even be some kind of strange object. We can't have a butt face, Bethan. We've had a butt face before. It's going to be a lemon shape from Beth. Okay. Is this going to be Lemon Grab's cousin? Only time will tell. So we've got a lemon shaped face. Right. What kind of eyes? Draw along, by the way. Obviously, draw along. So you've done your lemon shaped face. Balloon eyes from Diana. Okay. So draw some balloon eyes on that. My eyes look a bit crazy. They're a bit wayward. <laughs> okay, what kind of nose are we going to have? A lion nose, said Cece. A duck nose, a koala nose, a sexy nose. A lamp, said Delia. Okay, do a nose that is a lamp also. I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> Oh, this looks wrong. Okay, I'll just, I'll just deal with it. Okay. Uh, oh no, that's not what a lamp looks like. <laughs> right. Let's just not comment on what my nose looks like. Uh, what is the mouth situation? Caroline said my lamp looks like a monstrosity. Amber said a marshmallow mouth. Okay, so maybe... Are we going to do marshmallow? Or a zip. I like the idea of a zip, actually. A zip from Erica. Okay, draw on my zip. This is scary. This is a scary creature already. Okay, what kind of ears? I'm gonna give it some ears. Cassie can't play the drawing game. She's going to Disney World. Well, enjoy your mouse. We're having fun with art. Ears. Cat ears? Let's have cat ears because of the cat cafe. Thanks, Mike. So we've got some big cat ears either side of the lemon. That's quite satisfying, actually, because it fills the contours of the lemon edge. Um, what kind of eyebrows? This thing looks so freaky, said Beth. I know, mine's, mine's not of this world. A monobrow, said Charlotte. Pointy, said Joseph. Yeah. Let's have some pointy evil villain eyebrows. So like the pointiest eyebrows you've ever seen. They're quite thick as well. I feel like this pen is going through to the other drawings, but never mind. Okay, got my pointy eyebrows. Now what kind of body? Got a giant lemon head, what should we put the body on? Kashvi said a giraffe neck and body. I like the idea of a giraffe actually. Okay, do a long giraffe neck and a, a body. Uh, any kind of legs? Noodle feet, said Katie. Okay, just do loads of noodles as the feet. Any arms coming out? And noodle arms as well, said Mimi. Okay, and do some noodles as the arms as well. Frequently, I just realized my arms are coming out of the neck. <laughs> oh well. 
Uh, any other features you want to add to our creature? This is terrifying, said Elizabeth. I know, it's not, it's not the best. <laughs> we'll just have to deal with what we've created, like Frankenstein. Okay, um, what are we going to add? Leslie wants a bow tie. Okay, let's add a bow tie. You can do that. Uh, anything else? A fedora hat? Okay, give it a fedora, like Kristin said. Mine looks like a top hat. Oh well, same kind of thing. Um, any other features? Martha wants wings. Maybe we have little lemony wings on the side. I feel like the wings ruined it slightly. Oh well. um, and one more thing. Special key said it's holding a cup of coffee. Okay. It's holding a cup of coffee. And what is on the cup, finally? A ghost, said Nicki Minaj. Okay, so it's holding a coffee with a ghost on it. And your creature is complete! Hey! I like this one. I think it's a good one. Are you ready to see it? Do -do -do -do. <laughs> So, we have a lemon head, balloon eyes, lamp nose that we're not going to talk about, a zip mouth, a fedora, uh, pointed eyebrows, balloon eyes, cat ears, a giraffe body with terrifying noodle limbs, and it's holding a mug with a ghost on it while wearing a bow tie. That is so creepy, said Alex. I know. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a villain, I think. It's a villain of the monster book. Mine is horrendous, said Natasha. <laughs> what have we done? This was never meant to happen. Um, so, we need a name for this dude. What should we call him? Why isn't he holding the cup by the handle? Said, who said that? Alex. Because um, he's just... He just likes to watch the world burn. Right, what should we call this guy? Lemon Raff? Giraffe Grab? Lemon Raff? Lemon Snarf? Sheldon? Mildred? Apple? Slink? Mr. Gone? I think Mr. Lemon Raff. The, the, the mister makes it more creepy. Mr. Lemon Raff. There we go. Complete. So if you want to tweet me your pictures of your um, Mr. Lemon Raff, I'll go favorite some. So I'm going to go have a look now at some Lemon Raffs that are being tweeted at me. Notifications. You have one from Totoro Teaser. He said, might need the medical attention. <laughs> oh no, what happened? I think too many noodles happened there. Um, got one from Lauren. I am not on fire. Use, that's how you use paint for that. Wow, that's efficient. <laughs> oh, I like Georgia Cates. Georgia K. Wetton. That's a good one. You had two attempts. Uh, okay, one more. Grace, Princess Stumper's done a shark fin. What was, I'm not sure what that was meant to be. Oh, maybe it was a wing. And casual cat, yours looks so scared to be alive. <laughs> okay, I'll check some more later. Thank you for drawing Lemon Raff. That was fun. I think he was a good monster. I feel like we get a 5 out of 5 for that. I'd rate it highly. What have we done, said Melissa. You should have done a unicorn horn, said Merita. Maybe next time, hey? We'll do it maybe next time. Ow, my knees are burning. My laptop's so hot today. Don't know what's going on. Zenib said, my birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday tomorrow! Do you like hummus? I don't want to say no because it make everyone hate me, but I kind of don't like it that much. I don't hate it, but I, I'm not like one of those people that's like, hummus is everything. It just doesn't taste that nice. 
I, do you know when I regret things that I say? I think that should be one of them because I know everyone's going to rage at me now. 22 Jump Street. Yes, I'm wearing the t-shirt. It's a good film. I don't like hummus either, said Kaylee. See, hummus is everything, said Alan. Or oh, Alana, even. Hummus is gross. Oh no, I've created a hummus war. I think I need to go. Right. <laughs> okay, I have to go now. Um, thank you for coming to my chat. It was fun. Uh, if you want to watch me on the radio tomorrow or listen, uh, you can join me at 7 p.m. on Radio 1 or just follow me on Twitter. It's amazing, Bill. Some new you now people are like, who is this guy? Uh, and if you haven't already, watch my new videos. I've done a May Favorites, which hopefully is better than it sounds, and also a Cat Cafe video on Less Amazing Phil. So go watch those, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Alex. Bye, Patrick, who just, I just got here. I'm sorry. Bye, Alex again. Alex, there's so many Alexes here today. Cameron, Bowden, Linda, Abby, Constance, Ellie, Olivia, Lindsay M, Julia B, uh, Jade L, Caroline, Grace, Mika, Jessica, Camila, Hannah. It's been fun. I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Woo!